UFC 238 went down Saturday night in Chicago, and the two championship fights on the top of the card definitely lived up to expectations in the main event. Henry Cejudo becomes the seventh two-division champion in UFC history, fourth simultaneous two-division champion in UFC history when he captures the bantamweight title to add alongside to his flyweight belt with a third-round TKO of Marlon Moraes. He was down early in this fight, had a rough first round, but managed to make adjustments and come back and get the finish in the third and now Cejudo has many options across two weight classes. Uh, if he's going to defend that flyweight belt, I definitely think the winner of that upcoming Joseph Benavidez versus Chusey Formiga matchup makes a lot of sense for him if he wants to defend there. If he's going to do it at bantamweight, he made some interesting call-outs after the fight, mentioning Dominic Cruz, Uriah Faber, Cody Garbrandt. I don't think any of those matchups are realistic for him next. None of those fights seem to line up for the title. Maybe Cruz if you're going to pick anyone of that group, but nonetheless, I think the person who deserves that title shot against Cejudo, his next fight should be Aljamain Sterling, who of course fought on the undercard of UFC 238 got a brilliant win against Pedro Munoz, his most impressive performance to date, and I think he has solidified that chance to fight for the title with four consecutive wins. He has earned it at this point, and if Cejudo is going to fight at 135, I think that is the matchup to make. I know he wants money fights, he's talking about those kind of things, but nonetheless, I think you have to give it to the most deserving contender, and I think right now, that is Sterling. And then the co-main event, we see Valentina Shevchenko get an absolutely devastating knockout against Jessica. Just brutal, brutal stuff. A vicious head kick, one of the most brutal head kick finishes we've seen in UFC history. Does her job as a huge favorite going into this fight. Handled I pretty easily and then got the highlight reel finish. A huge win for Shevchenko and this is going to do a lot for her title reign. Going to generate a lot of interest and excitement around her going forward and the thing that's different about her though is not too many options going forward in terms of exciting matchups. Uh, Dana White was asked after this event about a potential trilogy match with her and Amanda Nunes. He said maybe Maybe that's something that could happen down the line, but he'd like to see Shevchenko and Nunes both rack up some more title defenses first. And if you look at the landscape of the women's flyweight division, there's not too many options there, too many exciting fights for Shevchenko, but I think you're going to see her in this role again, co headlining a card in a title fence against a lower-ranked opponent, of course. And I think the person you have to put in there is Kayla Chukagian. We saw her get a big win of her own on the prelims of UFC 238, beating Joanne Calderwood by decision and I think she has earned that shot she lost a close decision to Jessica I back in December and what would have got her this title shot tonight that was a very close fight and I think now she has earned that chance to fight for the belt so going forward I think that's the matchup to make Shevchenko said she wants a rather quick turnaround fight in three four months and I think if Chukagian could be ready for that that would be a matchup that makes sense for the women's flyweight title